So for this problem, we can visualize what's going on with a diagram. So when we start off this pro these kinds of problems, I always think it's best to start off with a diagram. So essentially we have payments of 5, and then it keeps increasing by 5 every year, and all the way up to the point where it reaches 100. So there will be 20 payments in total. It starts off at 0, the 20th payment will be at the end of the 19th year. So this time just keeps increasing. So you see that this section is essentially an increasing annuity. And then after the annuity reaches 100, it will just keep on paying at 100 till forever. So there's a second section over here that keeps on paying 100 all the way to infinity. So you see that this whole payment scheme is composed of an increasing annuity and a perpetuity. So if we want to find the present value, of this payment scheme, we can just break it up into these two components. So the first component is an increasing annuity, and it's annuity due. So notice that the payments start uh, at the start of each year. And then for this section, we can find the present value of this perpetuity, which would give us the value at time 20, and then we can bring it back to time 0. So the present value at time 20 of all the subsequent payments it's just 100 divided by d, which is the formula for perpetuity. So this is the present value of all these payments at time 20. So bringing it back to time 0, we just do e to the power of 20th. So essentially, we can just substitute numbers into this formula, and then we can get our answer. But then we can actually uh, simplify this problem a little bit. So let's write out the formula for the increasing annuity. Divided by d. So if this were not an annuity due, this was an immediate, this would be i at the bottom. But because the payments start at the f uh, beginning of each year, this is, it switches out to a d at the bottom. Plus, so 100 is essentially 5 times 20. So because of the 5, I can actually include this component inside this bracket. So you see that there's a 20 v 20, there's a 20 v 20. Actually, both of these will cancel out. So in the end, we'll be left with this expression, which is a block meter. So using this rather simpler expression, you can calculate the answer. And then once you plug all the numbers into your calculator uh, to a present value of 0.5, you'll find that the answer is 785.